typically what we see when corporates are making their international payments is that because the file formats for international payments um, that the bank requires are so specific, and most ERPs can't generate those particular file formats, um, the processes are really manual. So what we kind of tend to see is um, people's in, people in the finance teams are logging into numerous banking portals each day um, and kind of keying, keying in transactions line by line, or the, um, the, the bank portal may provide some sort of online file template, which they're having to fill out manually, or if their ERP or back office system is creating some sort of uh, payments file, they're having to download that, manipulate that internally, and then re-upload um, to the banking portals. Um, so as you can imagine, all those processes uh, bring about a number of kind of challenges and risks. Yeah, exactly that. And just following, in, following on from the kind of challenges and risks. So as an international business, naturally that means that you'll have more banks which means logging into multiple disparate banking systems um, and portals with separate logins bringing up different tabs remembering your password to each one of those which as you can all imagine is is extremely time consuming for anyone doing that so we regularly see um, a few members of a finance team are typically spending a number of hours per day manually keying in those transactions sometimes even line by line into the portals which is really prone to error um, and something we can all relate to is human error, right? So if you were sending a payment to an international supplier and even one digit being keyed in incorrectly in that payment file um, can cost a business thousands, if not millions of pounds. Um, we also know that the reason that an international business need to automate as much as they can is because they have no control or visibility over each entity as part of their business and the process that each person follows in that particular um, location. So partnered with the different time zones means that a central or group team actually can't improve the process because they have no visibility of, of, of what they do. Um, and we also see many businesses allowing users access to files without the recommended security measures in place. So teams will be saving a file to a local desktop or a shared folder, which means that they're open to manipulation um, and can actually lead to fraud and criminal activity, which in turn can really affect a business's reputation.